Hello there guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Today another topic, another video. Uh, we are going to talk about printers. I'm joking, okay, yes, we are going to talk about printers, but we are not talking about only printers, okay? We are talking about how to make your old printer um, capable of doing wireless printing from your Mac, iPhone or iPad, okay? Talking about printers that are old and you have to connect it to USB. I have the, the, that old printer, but it's not connected through your, your USB on my uh, Mac. It's on another room, okay? Uh, it is uh, with wireless capabilities and um, I will tell you how I have done it, okay? A small uh, app and uh, a little bit of hardware and that hardware perhaps you already have had it, have it in your house and we are going to do that. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to the screen to tell you what is the app that I have installed, okay? And then we are going to the printer and I will make a demonstration from my phone, okay, from my iPhone and you'll see live how uh, it is the final result. Let's go ahead to the screencast and we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, so now on the screencast on my Mac Let's go ahead and talk about the software that you'll need. First of all, I should tell you that uh, it's a, it's paid, okay? Uh, you can check, there are others, but uh, you have a try it free and that's good for you to try and see if it fits or not your needs. Uh, I have tried and checked uh, some other apps they are around the same price and not so intuitive as this one but you can check other i will leave it in the description it's called andy print this is what i use okay this is printopia or it's called full screen and uh, it's wireless printing to any printer okay share any printer old or new with your ipad or iphone correct now there is no app that you want that you need to install on your on your uh, phone or iPad, okay? Uh, and I will go. I will, sh I will show you the the. This is on the preference pane. I will show you all the things that this can this app can do, okay? And this this is you. I will leave the link of this on the description for you to try it, okay? Free and see if it fits or not your needs. So let's go here to the preference pane. And this is the Printopia, it's shared, okay? And there are lots of things that this app can do. Uh, I will focus primarily on the first one. So it's here, it's, uh, it's my Canon that I'll show you afterwards on the, on the demonstration. The MX300 series, it's shared. But you can send from your iPhone to, to your Canon, uh, to your printer, sorry, in this case it's a Canon. You can uh, immediately add PDF to iBooks, but this you can do already in the in the font. So this is not necessary for me to have. I can delete it. You can mail the PDF. Uh, well, it's the, for me. It doesn't mean anything. Also, you can save directly to downloads. Imagine that if you want, you have already a file uh, or a website or whatever. And you want to send directly to your Mac, you can you can do that. So uh, you can not only print uh, to to the printer, okay, but you can send also directly to your Mac, okay. It's all, also an ability of this Printopia, and I can send also to PDF Print Pro. It's a program that I have, and you can add a lot more depending on the apps that you have, okay. So guys this is the app that i use go ahead give it a try it's it's a free trial you can go ahead and do it and uh, for now uh, regarding the screencast it's all let's go ahead to the printer 
very well. Let's go to the live demonstration. That's the Canon that I told you, the Canon MX300, seven, eight years old uh, Canon, non-wireless, okay? And it is in a different room uh, from my office, so it's not connected to a computer. Let's go ahead first with the demonstration. I have here my phone. You can go and already, if you have an iPad, you can do with an iPad. Let's click here. Uh, okay, we already have the, um, the site from Apple, but for demonstration purposes, why not? And uh, let's see here, not, not rumors, that's a lots of pages. Let's go to Apple, Apple, why not? Let's see how many pages, sorry, out of frame. Go ahead, that's the print option over there, okay? Print, uh, Canon MX. As you can see, I hope it's it, it is in focus, MX300 series. You can go ahead and if you want more than one copy, you can go. That is the black and white option. That is one page. You have a preview. If it is one that that's one that more than one page, sorry, you can go ahead and select it or not. And uh, let's go ahead and print. Why not? Eh? It's the print here. This is in Portuguese. You have print. This is a live website, I don't know if the print will be perfect, but let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and see the page that it's going to be printed. It is working, this old baby, yeah. Oh, very well. Let's pick here the page. Here you have it, okay. This is the print that was made from the website. Of course, you can make from website, your documents, emails, whatever you want, okay, directly from your iPhone. So, as you can see, it is possible to put your old printer making wireless printing from your iOS device, okay? So now, the part of the hardware that I told you. First of all, I will tell you, tell you what I use, okay? I will move a little bit the tripod over there. I don't know if you can see. I have connected my printer to that airport Express, okay? Not the extreme, the Express. I have that uh, router, I don't know, about uh, five years. It's the first or second generation. I don't know anymore. I have that uh, because I like to listen to my music uh, airplay, okay? So I use my own uh, stereo to listen to my music and that router has the ability to connect your printer, a USB device, a USB hard drive, if you want, or and also to connect a 3.5 millimeter jack to listen to your music, okay, wireless, if you want. Now, you don't have to invest if you have a router already with a connection. Go here with a connection uh, of USB. If you have it, go ahead and give it a try it is possible to do it, okay? Uh, so guys, this is the demonstration that I have for you. And uh, let's go ahead to the office. So guys, this is it. This is all the steps required for you to enable your prehistoric printer to uh, iTech one, okay? Uh, I hope it's useful. For me, it is. Okay, it is. Um, I hope it works for you. If it worked, go ahead, put your thumbs up. It's always nice to see that uh, you appreciate these kind of videos. The subscribe button, go ahead. I release a video nowadays, perhaps uh, one every day or every two days, I will release a video. The next will be again on another tip of improvement on your Mac performance. So uh, subscribe, 
like and share if you want. For now this is all and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye!